Metro Detroit is seeing the largest part of the surge in new Michigan cases. The state reported nearly 8,900 new cases on Tuesday. Nearly half of them are here in Southeast Michigan. The statewide total has now surpassed 750,000 since the pandemic started. The increasing number of more contagious variant cases is likely driving the spread. Wayne and Macomb counties have the most so far in our area right now. In its second crackdown of the pandemic, the University of Michigan has locked out more than 700 students for failing to follow COVID-19 protocols. Their M cards have been deactivated and they no longer have access to non-residential buildings. The university says that the students either failed to have a COVID test in at least four weeks or don't have a prior test on file. The update on the state's vaccine dashboard shows nearly 75,000 new shots into arms as of Tuesday. The total number of doses administered is closing in on five and a half million. The pause on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is now forcing a Michigan State University to switch to the Pfizer vaccine. The university says all appointments previously made by students will be honored. They will have to return for a second Pfizer dose in three weeks. Administrators are also urging students to register with other providers to take the first appointment available. All right, so take a look at uh, your screen. This is our, this is our calendar, and, and these are the high temperatures we've had so far this April. Yesterday was 65. I mean, last week was fantastic. 70s, 81 a week ago. Uh, that was just a couple of degrees shy of a record. But you have to go all the way back to uh, the first couple of days of the month. It was 37 and 47. Remember that opening day for the Tigers with the snow on uh, April 1st. But April 2nd, that's the last uh, t day we had below average temperatures. And today, it's going to be the coldest day since... April 2nd. Now it's in the upper 30s this morning. It will be sunny to start increasing clouds this afternoon, but a dry day today will have a high of 56 degrees. It does continue to get colder tomorrow. We may see a light snow or a few snowflakes mixing with some light rain showers tomorrow morning.